Okay, do you remember when that cop came to our middle school and gave us that speech about how, like, sending nudes on Snapchat's not okay? How Ask FM's gonna kill us all? How Instagram DMs are gonna make it so we all end up on criminal minds and shit? We yes. were all sweating. Well, I remember that assembly. At the time, I knew people in the crowd were definitely, like, sent nudes to each other. Like, you know, you know what happened. Yeah. Yeah. But the way they made it sound was like, oh, you can get arrested for child pornography. You're 13, and you send a picture of your microcock to my, <laughs> to my 12 year old daughter. I will know about it. They scared us. All of us deleted Ask FM for a little bit. Yeah. I never had it. You got scared straight. Chris just got bullied. <laughs> Man. That cop scared me. It was the most awkward silent assembly we've ever had. You know what's crazy? Like a week after that, I go to Kyle's house. Yeah. I I'm changing clothes. We're about to play some football in the backyard. Ethan takes a picture of me, like unclothing and like stuff like that. He takes a picture on my phone and he sends it to my stepmother. <laughs> What? What was that? Editor Ethan over there has been doing some stupid shit to Chris, I guess. I get home and Margie was like, see, that's unacceptable, right? And she's like, just let me know what happened. I told her what happened. My dad comes, I didn't tell my dad. And my dad's like, what the fuck is going on in that house? Do you remember when fucking David took your phone and called the cops? No, what happened was I took David's phone and I go, hey Siri, text mom, I'm in jail. <laughs> oh yeah, that was fucked. message to mom, mom says I'm in jail. <laughs> No more hey, you know who. So that's what I did to David. So I saw an article about the, one of these cops who goes to these schools. We'll call him Officer Scare Me. This officer has been going to the school for years and years giving this speech. Yo, don't sext. Don't do that stuff. Don't online bully. Unfortunately, he was just arrested for sexting with those students. What? That's crazy. He was the one that was actually sexting them, even though he was giving the talks about how not to do it. This is in Georgia. Oh. Mr. Steal your 12-year-old. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Steal your 12-year-old girl? <laughs> Wait, was it underage? That's fucked, dude. She was in eighth grade and the cop had to learn from another student how to use snapchat and then use snapchat to hit up the girl that is so messed up but it just brought me back so many of those memories just sitting in that uncomfortable bleacher seat during the assembly remember that, that one assembly we had like we would pass the mic around and then fucking Jonisha's brother was like i woke up in a new boo guy <laughs> yeah. big joe and then the teacher was like oh my god we can't trust you with the mic anymore <laughs> yeah it's like that's the cop right there. He's the one that gave the speech. He's the one that hit up all these girls. Looks like a cop from Simpsons. <laughs> Eating a donut. He calls himself not Officer Ryan, but Bubba Ryan. All the girls have to Snapchat him Bubba Ryan. Such a freaky mind game he's playing with eighth, eighth graders. graders. It's uncomfortable. It gives me chills, actually. It's kind of weird how like eighth graders know more about like social media than the cop did, apparently. He said that on several occasions, he thought the students were setting him up because they would erase all their comments and leave only his. He must have been sweating balls when the gray turned to dark gray. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, job's in jeopardy. He gets left open on red. Instead of thinking like, oh, she doesn't like me. It's like, oh shit, I'm gonna lose my job. The worst part is he would always end the messages with these people with, delete my messages, butthead. <laughs> he was then confronted about these messages, basically saying like, yo, why are you doing any of this stuff, right? What do you think he said? Wait, helping out with their homework? I don't know, what could he say? He was just saying he was building a trusting relationship. He'd say, you know what? I was afraid that drugs might have been bleeding into this middle school. So you know what? I tried to go undercover, oh. like, on some like on some 21 Jump Street side stuff. He was like it's sending Snapchat. Is there like is there like a example of like a naughty message? He says, if, if you tell about this, you'll get a spanking and I'll go to jail. What the oh fuck? Oh my god. Dude, this guy needs to go. No, I'd block him already. So how does he go about asking these girls? Like he's just like, they're walking or getting picked up by their parents because they're in eighth grade and he runs up and goes hey can you add me on snapchat here's my snapchat like what is going on what if like he has the whole officer uniform right he has the badge and then he has the badge with a snap coat on it the girls just go up to him and take a picture of his chest it is like 21 jump street though rice gum guys his girlfriend abby rao so rice gum and abby rao his ex-girlfriend have been having hella drama going on online yeah. i love it i'm here for the tea rice all the way yeah 100 i'm rice i voted on your poll rice you deserve the bag Dude, I'm Team Abby Rao. Why? She's hot. SIP! Yeah. There's a huge argument between them because basically when Abby Rao started dating Rice, he knew, yo, she's gonna blow up. She's a 10, she's gonna blow up, everyone online's gonna love her. So what happened was she signed a contract that basically said, you're gonna get a percentage of what I make. Which is fair. It makes sense because she blew up because of him. She only had a couple thousand followers and then once she started dating Rice, she blew up. <laughs> He blew her up, but that contract, it's so weird that these girlfriends of like huge Instagram stars now have these contracts that basically say, if you get verified, if you get fucking huge, I'm taking part of that Sea Geek check, man. It's just weird because athletes worry about signing with teams. Yeah. Who am I gonna sign with? And now girls are like, what guy am I gonna sign to? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> what phase member am I gonna date next? But dude, it's the same thing. Like if you are a guy and you start dating Summer Rae, and you, if you blow up, Summer Rae should probably take a slice of what you make. No, she should love me for me. I'm just playing. Yeah, take, get your money back, bro. Come on. It's yeah. a lot of fish in LA, bro. This is not the first or last time. 
time it's going to happen. If the relationship ends up really cool, though, you do have it where they just forget about that percentage, right? Yeah. But Abby Rao did Rice Gum Super Dirty. She's making money off of hating him. How sweet would that be when Rice grabs a check and goes like, look, I just made 3500 off her hate video. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be sick. That'd, That'd be, be sick. Would you look up to Rice more? I like Rice Gum. Like, ever since like he first started, like his first year of YouTube, I always liked it. I thought he was a savage. Obviously, he's known for being the douchebag type of thing, but it's like, what's funny? He lived in the face house without being a phase member. So you put up a straw poll here called Abby Contract. Do we collect our percentage from Abby's revenue rice family? Yes, take the money. No, leave the money. I'll do us all a favor. No, Burke, okay, you're just doing it? Okay. okay yes, cool. take the bag, rice. Get your bag, <laughs> son. Vote. Let's see it. Holy <laughs> shit, what the fuck? Yo, everyone's saying to grab the bag. 110,000 people voted yes. 12,000 simps said no. How crazy is that, Chris? That just shows his fan base. They're all about rice. They're ride or die for him. They want to see him getting all the cool clothes, and they know, like, he gets more money. He can do that. Would you ever do that to your girlfriend, like, sign up a contract with him? If I was in the same situation as rice, where I already had multi-millions in followers on, like, a lot of platforms, at least four to five platforms, and that girl's a dime piece ting, then yeah. I'd okay, you would. What if it was Addison Ray though? Would you do that to her? If I can promise that I make money and she can make money and we can have a healthy relationship with that, then yeah, sure. That shit ain't gonna work out. Money's toxic. And the thing was, Abby actually came back and said that the contract was bullshit, that it never actually happened. So then Rice went on Twitter and posted a picture of the actual contract, showed everything, showed her signature. Look at this. I've read this agreement carefully and understand it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her signature, just like curving off the line, like, I'm definitely gonna fuck you over. He looked like he forged that. Bro, what do you no mean, girl, okay. Bro. You know, all the hot girls have good handwriting. That's true. But hey, if that's real, then ink is ink and cash is cash. Get your money.